thing about bats, and see, they're all over the place. It's just bats. They're just bats. I've lost the ability to feel. They're gonna fucking murder you. All right, so we're here. Yuma, Arizona, for the famous Yuma prison. Famous? Yeah, 310 to Yuma, you never seen that film I've with Russell Crowe? I've seen the picture, yes. This prison housed a lot of famous outlaws from the, the Old West. They would get transported here on a train, taken here, some where they uh, met their demise. Okay, big gate. We see a lot of big gates. Do we? Yeah, I'd say so. Huh. This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate Yuma Territorial Prison in Yuma, Arizona as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? This prison has seen its fair share of death, despair, and famous outlaws. We're seasoned vets at this point when it comes to prisons, huh? We are, we've been to several prisons, but we haven't been to an Old West prison. That's true, a fun little, a fun little way to mix it up there. Yeah, a way to see uh, ghouls behind bars that were good with a six shooter. Cool. Let's get into it. Constructed in 1876, Yuma Territorial Prison overlooks the Colorado River on a bluff, a few miles away from the confluence of the Gila River and Colorado River. Over the course of its 33 years in operation, 3,069 prisoners, 29 of whom were women, were incarcerated in the prison. The first seven prisoners actually built their own cells. Some of the most infamous Old Southwest outlaws were held in Yuma, including Buckskin Frank Leslie, Buckskin murdered his girlfriend while drunk and is remembered for being, quote, the only man who could compare to Doc Holliday's blinding speed and accuracy with a six gun, end quote. Famous stagecoach bandit Pearl Hart was sentenced to five years at Yuma Territorial, but was pardoned after serving only two years after allegedly using her feminine wiles on everyone from prison security to other prisoners. Elena Estrada, legendary for reportedly ripping her unfaithful partner's heart out and throwing it in his face, was sentenced to serve seven years at Yuma as well. That seems like a bit much. I don't know if she tried to feed it to him. She shoved it in his face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which seems kind of like overkill at that point, because I imagine, I don't know how many seconds you have left to be alive after your heart is being ripped out. <laughs> Unless you just really just <laughs> eat it. We're gonna go visit her prison cell. Oh! As well as uh, Pearl Heart. Okay. She'll steal your heart. Let's go to that cell. Okay. So if anybody is in here that would like to communicate with us, perhaps Pearl or maybe Elena, feel free to do so. You could, uh, you could make a noise, you could throw a rock at us, you could push us, you could talk to us. You could tear our hearts out. I'd prefer you not, Elena. I mean, I've said that before to various ghouls, but... You might take that to yeah, heart. she's got some experience. Ah! Let's just, let's just get to it, huh? Yeah. Every time. Ah! ah wonderful. This is a vessel for you to hop into. Use this energy to talk to us. And then we could just talk. I just want to know if you're here, though. Lovely home you got here. It's quite nice. I'm not hearing anything. There's a lot of radio silence right now. Can you say the name of the prison we're at? I know you might be scared right now. We are trespassing on your space. I apologize for that. We are professionals. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. There's a guitar right there. I imagine you like to play. I saw pictures of you guys playing in here. Can you play us a song? I love music. Pluck it. Pluck it. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave now. Thank you, ghosts. Descriptions of the conditions of the prison vary depending on who is telling the story. The people of Yuma refer to the prison as the, quote, country club on the Colorado, end quote, resentful of the fact that the prison had better amenities than the majority of their homes. Amenities included forced ventilation, electricity, a sanitation system with three showers and two bathtubs, a prison band, and a 2,000 book library, the largest library in the territory at the time. In fact, Yuma Territorial Prison was home to Yuma's only three flush toilets. At the same time, the prison was feared by inmates. It was described as, quote, impossible to endure, more impossible to escape, end quote. Temperatures could reach a whopping 118 degrees in the summer, and the prison was surrounded by desert, quicksand, and rivers. Over its 33 years in operation, 112 prisoners died while incarcerated at Yuma Territorial Prison. Though numbers vary, 
it's reported that almost 50% of these prisoners died of tuberculosis. One third died of natural causes other than tuberculosis. Eight were shot while attempting to escape. Six killed themselves. Five were killed in work accidents. Two were murdered by another inmate. And one was executed by Yuma County. Events in particular that may have residual hauntings include the 1887 Gates Riot that left four inmates dead and one wounded. This is the, uh, the, the spot of the 1887 Gates Riot. Um, four people died, one was wounded, and uh, one inmate during the riot stabbed the superintendent in the back of the neck and twisted the knife around and he lived still. Whew, a resilient neck. You think when that <laughs> happens, your face does a lot of like funny little like yeah. Is there anybody out here with us that would like to speak with us? I know four of you lost your lives here during a, an event that was quite violent. Is there anybody that would like to make their presence known that has anything to say? Maybe some unfinished business? A riot, huh? This is where I guess a majority of the conflict happened. Some of these prisoners. Did you hear that? I did hear that. I, I, you know, I know you're humoring me right now. I'm not but, humoring you. Okay, let's go. Let's go check it out. I don't, Hello. Who's there? That was a pretty distinct footstep from over here. Was that a ghoul? You gonna make me go by myself? Oh, no, I'm coming up right now. Hello. Where's that ghoul here? Yeah, it was curious. Did you hear it again? What's going on with you? You got the funny eyes. Shush. Huh? <laughs> Hello? All right, we're gonna leave. But once again, we will be here all night, just tonight, because we are not locked up. Uh, we're we're law-abiding citizens. You know, you're, you, the way you shushed me was quite rude. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. It's very dismissive. One inmate thought to haunt the prison is a man named John Ryan. Around 1900, Ryan was imprisoned on charges of crimes against nature. He reportedly committed suicide in cell 14. State historian Marshall Trimble says, quote, tour guides say they feel a cold chill when walking by the cell, end quote. The majority of those who see his apparition describe it as a light white glow where his body would be and shining eyes, and say they also feel the air get noticeably colder. So right now we're approaching John Ryan's cell. This is actually, other than the solitary cell, the punishment cell, this is said to be the most active cell in this entire building, or prison, I should say. Okay. It's said that he was an outcast, the prisoners did not like him, the prison guards did not like him. Tough and, to um, be in prison and not have any friends. All right, John, we're coming in. We're, we're entering. It's quite hot in here and the air is... It just smells funny. Deathly still. Yeah. <clears throat> I just, uh, just imagine, I mean, we're uncomfortable and we've been in here, what, 10 seconds? Could you imagine living in here? The cell is said to be the place where John took his own life. Is this graffiti in the walls? Is this historical? Well, does that say 1932? Yeah, that's a fat spider. That's a chunky boy. Kind of unnerving. Yeah. Anyways, John, if you would like to communicate with us, just show us a sign. You could move something. You could knock on the wall. You could close this cell. Lock us in here with you. Rattle the door a bit. If we got locked in here, I'd be pissed off. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed off. It's very warm. Anything you want to say, John? I get it if you don't want to. Did you hear something? Talk to us. Did you hear something? He's got the vision. Hello? Focus, Ryan, focus. Shut up. Open your ears. Would you shut up? Was that, what was that? I have very, I have very strong ears right now, John. I can hear everything. I believe I just heard a voice. Is that you? Or am I just losing it? What did it sound like? What did it say? Sounded like a voice. I don't know. I don't know what it said. It was like a whisper. Did it whisper? Hi, my name is John. No, it didn't whisper that. Maybe it was the spider. The gift shop is also said to be a place of activity. Alrighty, so right now we're in the gift shop, and weirdly enough, this is actually one of the most active places in this entire prison. For ghosts or people? Both. Okay. People so perusing yeah. and people yeah. in jail. And yeah. people yeah. in jail. 
and they say sometimes things just fall off the shelves. And you know, this is kind of like not that impressive to you, like this falls off, maybe there's like an earthquake, whatever. Sure. But if there's something like this on here, yeah, and it comes off that, which they say has happened a couple times, yeah. what do you think about that? That's good. If something's falling off one of these, it's also highly likely that one of them, you know, is on the edge or something and falls. Mm. You know, they're not, I don't know, I'm not. It's a bit of a stretch. I mean, uh, again, it's less of a stretch than the dead walking the earth. I don't know about that. I mean, so, this is like a lot. I mean, look yeah, how much Yeah, that's of, fine. I know. And then it goes up? Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, if there's anything in this gift shop, could you knock something off? We Perfect. won't get angry. We just want to see it. Could you move one of these things off of uh, off of these, I don't know, what, what would you call this? Um, hanging, do, hanging do, do those have words? Hanging the receptacle? Yeah. There's got to be a better word for it than that. That's not our fault. What about this grow a girlfriend? Is it just like an add water situation? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't think it grows into it. Well, they also have grow a boyfriend. And a therapist. And a, this is a dark section of this gift shop. Yeah. If you could knock anything off of this wall, that would be great. It would help me prove that there is something in here to this man. This is the, the dumbest scene we've ever filmed. The outside isolation cell is another area of the prison. It's said that misbehaving prisoners would be placed in this cell under a tin roof, forcing those inside to endure the miserable weather conditions in plain view of the other prisoners. Shall we? Okay, let's get in the box. All right, let's do it. We're here to find out why you're still here and uh, if there's anything else that you wanted to say. Now's the time. Can you say either of our names back to us? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> we just want to talk. Murray. What? <laughs> Murray? <laughs> what was that? Oh, she said Murray. I'm gonna need to hear more than one word for me to think there's somebody in here. Who was that? The last two voices. There was a male and a female. Do you two know each other? What are you trying to say? Do you love each other? When are you gonna pop the question? Oh. Come on. Come on. Is that good? Oh. Did that do, did that do so? Wait. <laughs> it said stop. All right, we're gonna get out of here now. Thank you, ghosts. The guard watchtower is also said to be active. Is it possible that guards continue to stay at their post on this tower? Well, this is actually really cool. This is the first time we've ever been in a guard tower. We've been well, to so yeah. many prisons and Why we've never been in a oh, guard tower. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Well, so now here's their view of the riots, because you could see the gate down there. Exactly. This is the view they would have had. Shall we do a spirit box session? Let's reach out. Whoa. Hello. Who was that? Most of the night you've been pretty quiet. We're here up in your guard tower, and right now we're trying to reach out to any prison guards who watched over this prison. That's right. Can you say our names back to us, just to let us know that you would like to talk to us? Again, Ryan Shane. What was that? You know, I bet some of you were decent guys just cashing a check, but some of you were probably real ass wipes. Huh? What'd you say to me? Speak up! That's what I thought. I'm sorry, I thought this was a tower full of people who knew what they were doing. Huh? What'd you say? Speak up! Coward! Cowards! All of you! You hear me? Jesus Christ. You're cowards! Uh! This is the kind of man that you shouldn't be pushed around by. I'm strange <laughs> and off-putting. I should not feel confident uh, in the face of any man. Yet here you are, smiling in the face of the devil. Because I've triumphed once again! <laughs> <laughs> However, the most feared part of the prison, both in present day and back when prisoners were actually incarcerated there, is an area referred to as the Snake Den. 
The snake den was a 10 foot by 10 foot punishment cell carved into the hillside with an iron cage. Inmates could only wear their undergarments and only received water and bread once a day. For some, this punishment would last months. They had no contact with others and light came only from a small ventilation shaft. It got the name Snake Den and Scorpion Den because legend has it that a cruel guard would drop a snake or scorpion through the air shaft. Perhaps due to this extended period of suffering, many feel this cell is the most active area in the prison. According to state historian Marshall Trimble, quote, one reporter planned to stay in the cell overnight shackled to a ring bolt for 48 hours with a jug of water and a loaf of bread. But after 37 hours, called for help to be released, insisting that she felt she wasn't alone in the cell, end quote. To finish off our investigation, we'll investigate the snake den individually. I'm walking into the dark, uh, dark cell, that's the one. Ooh, it stinks, I'll tell you that. A lot of bats in here. Now, the thing about bats, you see, they're all over the place. I hate bats. Oh, God damn, that's a lot of bats. There are <laughs> so many bats in this room. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a ghost hunter. Uh, hi, if there's any ghosts in here, I've been a little preoccupied with all the bats and the large train going by, but if you have a moment, now would be a good time to make yourself known. You know, bats sometimes carry rabies. It's a thing I'm afraid of. Oh, that one was low. That was a low one. Now they're now they're getting cocky. Okay, guys. So, uh, how was it in there? Ryan, I know we've done this a lot of times, and I've told you you're going to hate it in there. Yeah. This, this may take the cake for you. I think so. I was in there briefly just to look at it, and I'm not excited right now. How many bats were in there when you looked at it earlier? About a dozen. Okay. Oh, fuck, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, man. All right. Be afraid. It's just bats. They're just bats. Sometimes I do a thing where when I'm scared, I just, I locate the part of my brain that is terrified. And I just sort of shut it off. Not today, devil birds. Not today. I hope he didn't piss them off when he was in there. And there it is. The dark cell. It's not welcoming or inviting. You don't want to go into that room. Oh my God, I could already see them. Oh, oh boy. They're everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So, this is awful. What the frick am I doing in here, man? This is just, this is not even a ghost hunt. This is just ridiculous. I guess they're kind of fun little birds, right? I'm just your friendly neighborhood Ryan bats. Oh my God. Okay, just swarming right by my head. Ryan at this point has gotten braver with the ghosts. I'm really not sure he's gonna make it through this. I'm trying to remain calm. Oh my, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Is there anybody in here with me besides these bats? I think I'm blacking out right now. I don't think I'm gonna remember this moment. There's so much fear inside of me that I've lost the ability to feel. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I keep forgetting there's ghosts in here. Oh my God, that bat is huge. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, Ryan, that's your time. Oh God, thank God. Uh, can't get up at the moment. Oh my God. Yeah, you can. Okay, okay. Just get up, Ryan, and walk out. That's all you gotta do. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. 
<laughs> oh shit, there's one going for your ass. Uh, How was it? Uh, you did it. It's quite taxing, isn't it? No, no, I no right? I can't. <laughs> My heart's beating so fast. That was the worst. I I'm just overwhelmed by emotion right now. It's a lot. I think I'm crying a little bit. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a bit to deal with. <sighs> well, anyways, let's get the hell out of yeah, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm so done with this place. <laughs> Though it's been many years since Yuma Territorial held prisoners, it's easy to see why some believe those who were incarcerated remain. The idea of spending years in this Old West prison is unpleasant to say the least. Whether it's uneasy spirits or hordes of bats, no one can say for sure what truly resides in this prison, and whether or not Yuma Territorial is definitively haunted will remain unsolved. <laughs>